numericals on a stable multi vibrator using triple five timer ic before we begin let us look into the design equations of the a stable multi vibrator the duty cycle of the a stable multi vibrator is given by w by t which is equal to the on time divided by the total time period here tc is nothing but corresponding to the charging time td corresponds to the discharging time and t is equal to the time period the time period basically is the sum of the charging time and the discharging time so the same thing is written in terms of t on and t off so tc corresponds to t on td corresponds to t off coming to the frequency of oscillation it is computed as f is equal to 1 by t which is mathematically derived to be equal to 1.44 divided by ra plus 2 times rb into c this is the general equation and it is not specific as to what duty cycle it belongs to so the equation for frequency of oscillation has to be computed as f is equal to 1 by t irrespective of the duty cycle that is mentioned so far whatever design equations we have seen for the a stable multi vibrator those were the general equations now specifically we'll focus on greater than 50% duty cycle and less than 50% duty cycle the only change that you would find is in the charging time which is given by 0.693 ra plus rb into c if it is greater than 50% and less than 50% means it would be 0.693 ra into c that is because when the capacitor is charging for greater than 50% both ra and rb is involved whereas when duty cycle is less than 50% the capacitor charges only to ra and the assumption for the capacitance would be the same that is 0.1 microfarad in both the cases whereas if you observe the difference is mainly in the schematic diagram that we will be drawing for less than or equal to 50% we have a diode which is connected in parallel with the resistance rb and one important thing to be noted is when we have to compute for duty cycle equal to 50% we will obtain the values of the two resistance ra to be equal to rb so you should uh, note this when you solve numericals especially because for 50% exact both the resistance will be the same the capacitance that is connected between pin number 5 and pin number 1 will always be set equal to 0.01 microfarad numerical 1 for a a stable multi vibrator they have given the value of ra rb and capacitance c you need to determine the positive pulse width tc negative pulse width td free running frequency and the duty cycle to compute the positive pulse width that is nothing but the charging time we use the general equation given by 0.693 ra plus rb into c substituting the values of ra rb and c we obtained the value of the charging time or the positive pulse width to be equal to 3.933 millisecond negative pulse width corresponds to the discharging time and that is obtained to be equal to 0.69 millisecond the part c of the question is free running frequency which is nothing but frequency of oscillation and that is computed as f is equal to 1 by t and this t that is e equal to the time period is the summation of charging time and discharging time so, so we obtain it to be equal to 4.623 millisecond and the inverse of that will give us the frequency of oscillation or the free running frequency to compute the duty cycle we need to compute it as the on time divided by the time period and in this case the on time corresponds to the charging time interval divided by the time period so that is equal to 85.07 percent the main important thing to be noted here is the question doesn't ask you to design anything they have just given you 
to compute the values of TC, TD, F and duty cycle. So the general equations can be used. It has not been specifically mentioned what is the duty cycle. Duty cycle has been asked to be computed. So the general equations of charging time which is 0 0.693 RA plus RB into C has to be used. Numerical 2 is to design an A-stable multi-vibrator using triple phi timer to generate an output waveform of 2 kilohertz with a duty cycle of 50%. So in the question they have been very clear saying that the duty cycle is 50% and the frequency is mentioned to be 2 kilohertz. And we know that if the duty cycle is 50% we should be obtaining the two resistance RA and RB to be the same. So the charging time will be equal to the discharging time. So first we will compute what is the time period and that will be the inverse of frequency which is equal to 0.5 millisecond and duty cycle will be computed as the charging time divided by the time period and this will give us the charging time to be equal to 0 0.25 milliseconds. And to compute the value of resistance RA and RB, we use the equation as 0 0.693 RA into C. And this will be the same equation for the discharging time as we know that 50% duty cycle means we will have both charging and discharging time to be the same. So the value of resistance RA and RB we obtain to be equal to 3.607 kilo ohms. The important thing to be noted here is that when we draw the schematic because the question says you need to design. So when you draw the schematic you have to be careful to add the diode in parallel with the resistance RB. The numerical 3 is to design a triple phi A stable multi vibrator to operate at 5 kilohertz with a duty cycle of 40%. When 40% duty cycle is mentioned we need to use the equations which is specified for less than or equal to 50% duty cycle. So here first we need to compute what is the time period and that will be the inverse of the frequency which is equal to 0 0.2 millisecond. From there we compute the charging time and we obtain it to be equal to 0 0.08 millisecond and discharging time will be equal to time period minus the charging time which will be obtained as 0 0.12 millisecond. We want to compute the values of the resistance RA and RB and that is possible from the equations of the charging time interval and discharging time interval. So we have RA is equal to TC divided by 0 0.693 into C and in the design we have seen that we have to assume the value of capacitance C to be equal to 0 0.1 microfarad. So we obtain the value of RA to be equal to 1.154 kilo ohms. In order to compute resistance RB that is computed as TD that is discharging time divided by 0 0.693 into C. So we obtain the value of RB to be equal to 1.731 kilo ohms. One thing to be noted here is that the value of resistance RA will be less than resistance RB for the duty cycle less than 50%. And when you draw the schematic you have to take care that you draw the schematic with the diode and mark the values of the uh, resistance RA, RB and the capacitance C that you have computed. Numerical 4 is to design a triple phi A stable multi vibrator for an output frequency of 1 kilohertz and a duty cycle of 60%. So here they have mentioned you the output frequency and duty cycle 60% is mentioned. So we have to compute what is TC and TD. So in a similar manner like the previous problems that we have solved we will find out the time period which is the inverse of the frequency and that we obtain as 1 millisecond and from there we obtain the charging time as 0 0.6 millisecond and to compute the discharging time we use the equation 
time period minus the charging time and we obtain that to be equal to 0.4 millisecond here it is clearly mentioned the duty cycle is 60% so we have the discharging time equation to be given as 0.693 rb into c and we need to assume the value of capacitance c to be equal to 0.1 microfarad so the value of rb is obtained to be 5.77 kilo ohms so to compute the charging interval tc that's computed as 0.693 ra plus rb into c and we obtain ra to be equal to 2.88 kilo ohms since design is asked we need to draw the schematic and mark the values if you observe the value of ra that is 2.8 kilo ohms and rb is 5.7 kilo ohms you might say that the value of ra is less than rb so the duty cycle was supposed to be less than 50% actually the values that we have obtained here is because we have considered the charging interval tc to be having both ra plus rb so when you are saying 60% duty cycle both ra plus rb has to be considered so together ra plus rb is greater than rb and we obtain the duty cycle in terms of 60% thank you for watching